So this week we are back at Wapula Plantation. As you guys know, we come down here a lot. And right now the kids are just getting ready to do all their practice shooting and gun safety and all that good stuff. Yeah, Mr. Bobby and the Swamp Fox chapter have been doing this jake hunt for like 30 years now. And uh, they try to bring nine to 12 kids every year. This year we have 10. And uh, yeah, we just had the banquet. We said we'd throw in filming whoever winds up with the hunt. And uh, Bobby wound up splitting it into two hunts. So it's looking like we're gonna have a bunch of happy kids. The winners of the hunt tonight will get to come and spend the night with their parents or grandparents. Uh, they will hunt the next morning uh, and the following morning if they don't shoot the first morning. Uh, to go fishing, we've got a sock pond. They go out there fishing in the middle of the day. They have a ball. So we're going to do it. We're going to sell this hunt. I'm going to let you sell this hunt for us. And guys, we're going to have a great time and look forward to seeing you out there. 43. 43. Your turn. 43. 43. Now 4. 4400. 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, hey, I'll tell you what. I'll make you a deal. He said we can sell you both one at 4500 a piece. Y'all will do that. 4500 a piece and you both get one. How about that? Let's do that. He said he's good. You good here? He said he'll do it. You good? All right. Let's give them both a big round of applause. Hey, that's making some kids' dreams come true right there, folks. Zach, thank you. Country Outdoors, they're going to be right there with you. True hunt of a lifetime. And I'm in particular happy this year because I get to be hunting again, but also there's about four girls that are going to be a part of this hunt this year, which is awesome. So not only are we here with youth, but there's a bunch of girls that are getting involved too. Just like we do at That's my girl. That's my girl. I tried to convince them she was old enough to hunt in the morning, but everybody said no. So <laughs> you'll have that. Shoot. I'm hunting with Grayson in the morning. Gracie, you've never killed a turkey before, correct? No. How old are you? Nine. I was told your dad killed his first turkey when he was 10. So you gonna try to beat him out? Yes. <laughs> well, Mr. Bobby says there's a pile of turkeys where we're going in the morning, so we'll shoot a little bit, get you ready, and then hopefully kill your first turkey in the morning. Settle your bead on the dead center of that target, put your finger on the trigger, and just slowly squeeze it. Perfect, you did perfect. Now we'll put a shell in it. All right, you ready? Yeah. Same thing, just put the dot on it. That gun don't kick at all, so just put the dot on there and squeeze the trigger. Boom. Oh my God. Dude, if you do that tomorrow, you got your first turkey all day long. So Owen and Robert have just turned up. This is who I'm hunting with in the morning with Bobby. Um, we're gonna get Owen to just practice shooting a couple times and get him all comfortable and see how he's going and then go in and have a feed. So. Uh, I don't know if you guys know, but Bobby is a phenomenal natural caller, so we're in for a treat in the morning. <laughs> Looking at uh, his pattern, that's not his first turkey hunt. How many birds have you shot? Um, I've killed two, one when I was young and one last year. Awesome, but you're first in South Carolina? Yes, ma'am. Awesome. Well, I think that if a bird comes in, we've got pretty good opportunity that he's going to be able to get on it, so... Fingers crossed for the morning. Daddy, that man crazy. <laughs> Got some uh, barbecue chicken, some baked beans, some corn, and some sweet rolls tonight. Get them ready. Get them nice and full so they can shoot them a uh, long beard tomorrow. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for being able to hunt the great outdoors and the wonderful wild turkey and hearing that wonderful gobble, Lord. Please give a safe and successful hunt to the youth in the morning. Lord, we ask that you please bless this food for nourishment in our bodies. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. 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 Owen, are you excited? Yes, ma'am. Oh, I see you got your good luck hat on there. I like it. I dig it. I dig it. Well, uh, once Bobby said power line, I was like, I know exactly where we're sitting. I think there's a really big bird there. It is 9.50 and we are still in the game. We're hoping we're gonna get those uh, 
long bead zippers, not the hand. So. Bicycle. It doesn't really, they'll scare the turkeys off, but they'll come right back. I thought he was joking because we're in Monk's Corner. I've never had a monk ride by on a bicycle while I was turkey hunting before till today. Have you ever seen a monk on a bicycle while hunting? <laughs> get a bird this morning, but at least there was a lot of action, hey? Yeah. Yeah, those jakes were kind of crazy. Yeah. I know, they were very annoying. So they are on next year's hit list, that's for sure. But, um, well, I think the plan is this afternoon, no decoy, and sit out here and just wait on them to come out, because they're gonna come out here and eat. And I actually can't hunt this afternoon, so I'm gonna be waiting back at camp, hoping that you're gonna bring one back. You shoot this bird? Give me What's a high up? five. Nice hug and a nice, hug and a nice high time. five. That's awesome. I knew you could do it. Congratulations, girl. So far, morning one, three people have shot birds, and those three people are girls. Sounds a little orchestrated. You know what I mean? Uh, I just think that, uh, I mean, obviously, just God's on our side this morning, hey? The girls are stepping up in the turkey hunting game and I love it I'm all here for it or maybe it's a conspiracy as a, as a girl mom I'm here for this moment maybe they gar hold <laughs> all the boys the midday acti midday activities have commenced people are shooting guns people are napping people are eating little Debbie's even uh, we're headed back out because you're not gonna kill them right here you might could kill one right here but not with this many people so Mary's staying with the baby Owen's going out Ty's going with them with mr. Bobby I'm going back out with Grayson. Uh, I got some wasp spray and some new turkey calls because mine didn't work this morning. And I think we're gonna kill one. Someone's gonna kill one. There's too many boys running around here not to have killed a turkey. And I think it was also a conspiracy that led to the girls killing turkeys. So it is what it is. All right, so we're back out here again. And we were driving to the blinds and we saw two long beards driving here, so got ready and hopefully they come walking back.
Let's go. That a boy. <laughs> Got him. Good job, man. Nice work. Congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> you don't see this thing. Look at them spurs. Them suckers are huge. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Good turkey. Good job, buddy. Congratulations. Thank you. Look at the fur. Congratulations. Thank nice you. Nice fur, man. It took us a while to get him, didn't it? When we were driving in, we saw three longbirds, and we, a whole bunch of hens came in, and not much longer after, the three longbirds came back and took their good old time coming in. And then they get, got close enough, took my shot, and I got them. So I hear that you didn't have any luck this afternoon. Yeah. <laughs> Terrible luck, yeah? Oh, all right. oh boy, what a start. Look at those hooks. Dang. Oh, that's a great bird. Congratulations. Awesome. Good work, buddy. 19 and a half pounds. Right. Ooh, it's bigger than I thought he was. Yeah, that's a great bird. Good bar, boy. Nine inch beard. Wow, that's awesome. Actually, inch and a quarter. Inch and a quarter. Yeah. That's mm. a great bird. Right, boy. Yeah. That's the number one bird so far. Congratulations. Yeah. Morning number two. Grayson did not kill his first turkey yesterday, which is kind of unacceptable. So we're going to get back in there. We saw a lot of turkeys yesterday. We just didn't kill the turkeys. We jumped all the hurdles. We found a key. We got through the gate without cutting the, the lock, which is good. And now we're here. We're a little late, so we're gonna get moving. It's gonna be a great day. No rain last night. They're gonna gobble the brains out. Turkey hunting's stupid, and I hate it. I don't know what happened today, but something changed. They didn't act like turkeys today. I heard one gobble on the limb, way, way away, and nothing. We had two strutters right here, like right here, right here last night at fly-up time, or an hour before probably, three minutes. They must have just all went the other way. So we're in the bottom of the ninth. Do you play baseball? No. I don't like baseball, but I know in baseball terms we're in the bottom of the ninth, which means this is our last evening. No. We've had pretty bad, not, I wouldn't say we had bad luck, but we haven't killed turkey yet. Yes. And most everybody else has. Yeah, and last time we went over there, they, they were over here. And, la and when we went over there, they were over there. They'll do that to you. They do that to the best of us. So today, we're just moving across the plot and down a little bit and we're hoping that they walk the road because we've noticed they walk the road back and forth. So we're gonna put two blinds side by side and hope for the best. If we don't kill one, it's my fault. Yeah.
strutters popped out to the north where we sat this morning. Like, right where we sat this morning. So I yelped at him and a turkey got one in front of us. He walked up. He just did not want to stick his head out in this road and was a touch too far. But he still, if I yelped right now, he'd gobble. It's early, so I'm thinking, with time, I'm just going to be quiet and hope with time he pulls on out. But these over here, who knows? We're at the mercy of the hens right now. And by gosh, we're due for some luck, so. I'm just going to say a prayer and hope a monk on a bicycle comes from that way this time. Grayson is learning the ups and downs, mostly the downs of turkey hunting. We've had a lot of turkeys on us, so you can't complain, but we had a long beard just out of gun range. And of course, a group of jakes came and ran them off, so we got about an hour left. So, crossing my fingers and my toes. Sometimes I think that with youth turkey season, sometimes we make it too easy for kids. We pick out a great spot, we go in in the dark, it gets light, turkey comes in strutting and they shoot them, and then they're like, this is easy. We didn't do that with you, did we? We put in two pretty hard days by my standards of sitting and waiting, and today, I mean, how many opportunities did we have where we were this close? Like three, four. So if we'd have been a little further that way one time, we'd have killed him. If we'd have been a little further this way one time, we'd have killed him. Yeah. What did I do wrong? Nothing. Nothing. Sometimes you just are wrong for doing nothing. So, do you like turkey hunting? No, I saw you getting excited yes. when that one was coming. Yes. So, I think this is what you need to do now. Youth season's over, but regular season's coming. You need to go back and you need to get around Mr. Bobby. And you need to act real sad and say, I just want to kill a turkey one day. I, I thought I had him. He was big and coming right to me. And he's going to feel bad and he's going to let you come back. So we're going to try that. Maybe. But pretty successful youth hunt. I think we wound up with seven of the ten kids killing. I think we had a couple misses. And uh, I have a feeling Grayson will kill a turkey before it's over. So good luck. Sorry I suck. Thank you. It's your fault. We enjoyed it. Time, thank you. We enjoyed it. It was fun. Until next time. Until next time. Right here.